Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make edible chalk to create the blackboard design for cakes and cupcakes. I'm going to show you three different methods. For the first two, you're going to need Wilton's candy melt in bright white color. The first method is really simple. You can cut them in half with a pair of scissors or you can break them in half with your hands. And for the second method, we're also using candy melts. You'll need straws, a Ziploc bag, scissors, and a cup with a small amount of sugar. Okay, I'm going to microwave it in a bowl. I put it in for 15 seconds, and if it's still not soft enough, put it in for another 15 seconds. So this is how it looks once it's melted. You can use this cup to help hold the bag in place. Wrap it around the cup opening. Okay, pour the candy melt in and then try to push it all into a corner. Cut the tip of the bag to make an opening. And then squeeze it into the straws. Place the straws into the cup with sugar. When you're finished filling up as many straws as you want, place the cup into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. So I let mine sit in the freezer for about 10 minutes. You can use a skewer or a chopstick to push it out. So now we have candy melt in chalk form. And now for the third method, you'll need a pellet tray, a lemon extract or a vodka, white food coloring, and a fine paintbrush. So it's really simple. I just need to thin out the white food coloring with a few drops of lemon extract or vodka. Now I'm going to make some cupcake toppers with black gum paste. Just roll it out and use any shape cutter you want and let it dry for a few minutes. So now I'm going to show you the three different methods that we did. So the first one, the candy melt was broken in half. It's fast and easy and it looks just like chalk when you draw onto the gum paste. And this is the second method. It looks just like chalk so it's pretty fun. You get to draw onto a cake like it's a real blackboard. Okay, so this is the third method and you can see that I have more control with the brush and the white stands out more against the black. I would recommend using this method for wedding cakes or if you want to do finer details in your writings and drawings. Okay, so right now I'm going to make a tiered cake covered with black fondant. You can use any of the three chalk methods. I'm going to use the third one, so I'm going to show you how I paint onto fondant cakes. There's different ways to mark the fondant. I like to use a pin to mark likely where I'm going to paint. Or I've seen other bakers use a wet brush to mark where they're drawing and then paint onto the cake after. So I also like to make a rough sketch on paper first so I can place it over the cake and see how big or how small it will look. After I cut out the drawing, I place it over the cake and I use a pen to mark where it starts and where it ends. So I know how big my drawing needs to be to fill out the space or how small it should be so it doesn't go over the space. You can also use the negative space from the original piece with the cutout to mark it as well. So right now I'm painting and trust me, I'm going really really slow. It just looks really fast in this video. Take your time, go at your own pace. If you do make a mistake, use a wet brush, go over the mistake, brush it as if you're trying to pick up the colors, then rinse the brush and repeat until the mistake is gone. Thank you. 
And for the blackboard effect, I'm dusting some icing sugar mixed with cornstarch over it. If you think you've added too much, like what I did here, just use a steamer and get rid of some of the marks. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.